Dumating na po ang uh, pinakabatang alkate na halal ng lungsod ng Maynila. Tayo pa rin pa pa selfie. Eh. Sa ako kaya tayo doon? Sana nandun din tayo. Saan? Sa kay Mayor at sa Shivas? Ayan ka. Hey Mayor, nila nila yung Shivas. Hello. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, palakpakan po natin the 27th mayor of the city of Manila. Francisco Isco Moreno Corrazo. Sigourney. dignitaries who often go to that place to unwind. So may malate lang po yun. Ang hindi nyo alam, that time when the beloved mayor was not yet even in showbiz, hindi pa siya nag-aartista, he used to walk that blind pianist wow. from Tondo uh -huh. all the way to Remembrances, all the wow. way to that bar. Tapos, yung ibibigay sa kanilang pianista, you hinandang dinner. Para sa pianista, the blind pianist would uh, give umaga as a thank, as a, as a, gest thank you. Yes. As a gest gesture of uh, thank you yes. to Mayor Isco, yung pagkain niya. Uh -huh. 
Si Mayor naman, ang ginawa niya, sinasabi niya doon sa bulang na pianista, okay lang, happy na lang tayo. Oh, bait naman ni Mayor. Okay, so... Paano mo alam itong story na to? Ikaw ba yung pianista? Madalas ako doon. Parang sinabi mo ang ganda mo. Buti lang lang karamdam mo. Tambay din tayo doon eh, pero sa labas lang. Ah, parang parang club doon. Ikaw pala yung nakikichismis. Hindi, ito, but that bar is one of the few treasures that Manila had, just like Hobbit House. Nice. You know, it's uh, one of the few places na talagang pinupuntahan during the glory days of Manila. That time when we used to celebrate the Manila ha. We used to celebrate Miss Universe and even mga international film festivals dito po sa Manila. And I believe, under the leadership of Mayor Isko Moreno, we can bring back the glory days Correct. of the capital. I'm looking forward to that day. Actually, I'm seeing it unfold this very moment, actually. No? Past days, months, we're seeing so much beautiful things happening in Manila. Kaya nga, may kita natin ang score ng Maynila tonight. Yes, pero uh, we are not, ano, I am not, uh, kung hindi ako pwede magpakilala kay Mayor. Oh, bakit? Wala pa tayo sa ganung caliber. <laughs> Dapat yung kasing caliber ni Mayor yung magpapakilala sa kanya. Of course, sige. Pero pwede mo siya pakilala. <laughs> Ma, pwede na po. Are you okay already to introduce the Mayor and come up or? Okay, I'll, I'll introduce you first, ma'am. Because, ah... Uh, we got it, uh, speaker natin. Kailangan ba formal, great introduction. Our, our first speaker, and also yung magpapakilala kay Mayor Isko, is the youngest of seven children, or for me personally, one of the greatest fiscalizers the Senate ever had. Ever had. Walang iba po ni si Senator Blas Ocre po yun. She was a 2010 senatorial candidate at that time, kasabay po niya si Mayor Isko when he ran. Uh, she was the Chief of Staff for Secretary Ocre in the Department of Foreign Affairs. She is an author. She is a radio host for uh, DCXL and other uh, stations for Bantai OFW. She is a USEC. She was the USEC during the term of President Dorian Macapagal Arroyo for the Department of Labor and Employment. And she is the current president of the Blas F. Opre Foundation, a champion, champion for my brothers and sister, champion for the rights of the OFWs and the Filipinos who are working abroad. Ladies and gentlemen, palakpak po natin. It's our honor to introduce Under Secretary Ms. Susan Opre. also a person that um, 
is now the national face of local government. <laughs> Alam nyo, nagkasama kami ni Isko, tumakbo kami noong 2016 sa ticket ni Senator Grace Po. Natatandaan ko pa yung bawat hibla ng kanyang kalungkati. Mula sa Nutriban, hanggang sa AM, hanggang sa um, pagiging basurer niya at pagsusumikap niya para makapag-aral. Yung tatay po ni Isko, dating kargador sa pier sa North Harbor. Ang tatay ko, naging kargador din sa pier. Si Isko, tumigil sa pag-aaral dahil sa sobrang mahirapan. Pero dahil sa kanyang mentor na si Vice Mayor Lacuna, na very close din sa amin, si Dami Lacuna, nagtuloy siya sa pag-aaral. Katay ko, naging journalist, naging deciman, tumigil din sa pag-aaral dahil sa sobrang kailapan. So, napakapalat ninyo dahil in the roughness of their personal history, we see now the growing of a diamond. So, tatlo po yung mga mensahe na paulit-ulit na sinasabi ng ating Yomi. Sabi niya, ang pinanganak na mahirap ay hindi kasalanan. Pero kung mananatili ka mahirap, nasa iyo na ang pagkukulang. Sabi rin niya, huwag kang aasa na may mangyayari kakaiba sa iyo bukas kung ang ginawa mo ngayon katulad din ng kahapon. At ang pangatlo na lagi niya sinasabi, higit sa lahat, humingi ng tawad at magpasalamat sa Diyos. Friends, I recently wrote a column about Mayor Isko. It was entitled, Dear Isko, was published by The Business Mirror. It was read online by at least 112,000 readers and shared 77,000 times. For The Business Mirror, this was record-breaking. It was phenomenal. In that column, I wrote this line. From the time you were born, is called, the poetry of a remarkable life runs in your veins. So make it rhyme and offer each verse to the Lord. Clearly, the reason why Isko did not make it to the Senate was because the Senate was never for him. He had a different platform and he's now showing to us what an LGU can do to empower its people. You are now a legend in the making, my friend. I'm so, so very proud of you. So from being the youngest concejal, youngest vice mayor, youngest mayor, perhaps in a few years, who knows, the youngest, President of the Philippines. <laughs> yeah. Pero knowing him, ipapasa Diyos lang na yan. But we're very lucky. At least, you get to hear him first. And at least, today, tonight, you get to see a glimpse of someone who will change not just Manila, but our country for the better in the coming years. So friends, ladies and gentlemen, JCI Manila, please welcome to the stage, Mayor Isko Moreno Inagoso.
and the most respected foreign affairs Paralamina. Pero si Senator Rockley, ang unang iskwelahan niya, Kali at Jaryo. Ayun ang kanya. Doon siya nag-araw. Anong sabi? Basa ng basa. Basa ng basa. So, under Secretary Cruz Ople, maraming salamat. Maraming salamat doon sa sulat mo na dinis ko. Kaya mo, may awa ang Diyos. But sa inyong lahat dito, GCI Manila President L.A. Sibilia, GCI Metro Area Vice President Mark David, Metro Manila GC Senate President Albert Alday, I hope tama yung pagpapunas ko at pagpapasisyaan niyo na ako. JCI Manila Past President Cecilio Pedro May common friend kami Kung nandito lang si Kuya Jerv Malang mga tatlo kami magkakatabi Favorito ni Kuya Jerv All JCI Manila Senators and Members All JCI Philippines Members Magandang gabi uh, sa inyong lahat at marami yata sa inyo rito, hindi taga Manila. Welcome to the city of Manila. So, una ay uh, maraming salamat sa inyo. Pasensya na rin, medyo lobat na ako. Ang kasi kagabi, uh, we inspected the uh, park. I've been, I've been, uh, no, we've been opening up space in the city of Manila. Siguro naman by this time nakabalitan na kayo. So from the streets, to parks, to heritage, and kanina, pagpunta ko rito, kaya medyo malimu, no? amoy araw ako dahil uh, binuksan namin yung isang kali na nawala. Hindi ko alam kung sinadya. Do we have a foreign guest here? Yeah. I beg you with that, yes. You know, my English is good, but I need cash. I hope you don't mind. You said good to all plays, right? Today, this month, is Wingo ng Pika. But I'll try to use foreign language the way as much as as much as possible. But going back, I know it's in Shanghai Shek, Shanghai Shek, and Filipino cultural college in Abad Santos. May bago na silang kalye. Yung kalye na yun ay luma, kaya hindi siya bago. Kaya lang nawala. It was occupied by somebody but uh, we took over it and brought it back to the people the same part last night in Bacoal Santa Mesa if you're not familiar to Bacoal Santa Mesa I would like to remind you meron yung 3 hours maybe 8 hours doon uh, <laughs> Mukhang familiar kayo. That triangle part. That intersection. Nagulim. Pasuka. But thanks to our city engineering. Thanks to our city electrician. Thanks to our Department of Public Safety. And our employees. I visited them at 1.30 in the morning. They're still working. And it's now finished in 48 hours, like the Visoria. <laughs> but that, the night before that, so the Nung uh, we dedicated another part. If you're familiar with the uh, 
uh, United Nations in the corner of Top Avenue, yeah. that Plaza Rueda, that area of the link. For me, now uh, I enjoy it. So anyway, uh, uh, on the side lang, well, uh, kaya baka mapasin nyo, baka malami ako, hindi po talaga na medyo patang-patalang ako ng konti. Because I cannot rest. If you're from Manila, you can relate to this statement. Ang Manila yung tubiyot. Libagi. Panili. Alam yung panili? Yung libag na ayaw matanggal. That's how Manila now. Chaos. Tyranny. Everyone wanted to have a piece of the enterprise. It's like a pizza pie. Families are trying to share. Enrich themselves for personal economic growth at the expense of the people. So that's why we were deprived of development for two decades. And I challenge each and every one of you, E.G. Eugenio, Yang asawa ko, pag may tinatanong ako, sinasabi, I-GMG mo. Ha? I-GMG. Google mo, gago. Two decades of deprivation of possible growth as a city. And this is now your challenge. 18 years ago, there is no such thing as BGC. 18 years ago, there's no such thing as Trinoma, UP Techno Hub, MRP7, Capital Commons, Okada, Soler, Entertainment City, all these things, nothing. 18 years after, look at them. In fact, though this is my personal point of view, Pasay and Paranaque is still up about 10-15 years reserve of development. Ganun na sila kalayo sa amin. As long as you see open space in the south of Metro, in this case, Pasay and Paranaque, then you see future. Same thing with Tagig. In fact, Tagig will be more richer two years from now. You know why? FPI is being developed. As long as you see cranes in FDI, you see they are now above ground. So in the next two years, the city government of Taguig will be happy again. So these are the things that we will be trying. But more than anything else, that's what are the other things. Lanyan, uh, those are the things of the past. Let's now move on. Uh, as, as far as July 1 is concerned, you have never heard me blame me others. Ever. It's just that I try to remind yung nawala at nasaya. Uh, but we're trying to move on in our own little way. Uh, overrated lang yung pwede kami accused. Uh, para mamaya, masyado naman kayong tumaas ang ano ninyo sa akin, expectations. No, I did nothing yet. What we are doing is a normal job of a mayor. Normal. Some will disagree with me, but personally, I believe mayors are micro-managers. That's why they call it national government and local government. National government, macro. Local government, day to day. True, we have to plan five, ten years from now. But the day to day is the basic function of a mayor. 
peace, order, sa nabotas, maraming fish, wala lang kumu-order. So, yan, bagay niyan na mga napanood ninyo, nakita ninyo. Basic lang po yan. Kaya huwag kayo masyado kumata sa akin. Kasi dahil dyan, eh, madalas, ito ay sinabi dito, isinusogan na ako pataas. Galit yata kayo sa akin. Wag. Kasi, you know, politics is like a laundry shop. Marami kang makikita ng dumi. And I don't want Manila to suffer because of any political ambition. Kawawa na po Manila. Pag nangyari yun, lahat ng gagawin ko, hindi pa ako nakalalabas ng kwarto. Wala nang bisa. That's why I don't entertain that, that thoughts. True, thank you very much if you think that way I'm ungrateful and I'm honored, but no. We want to focus literally. Literally. Sabi, eh, masusustain mo ba? Ay, kasi siyempre, alam mo yung yung pera, ano yan eh? Mapangaki. No? Uh, we'll see. Today is my first month and 19th day. Tama ba? 20. 20th day. Ah, sa mayor. We're just starting. So far, eh, hindi pa naman ako natutok so. Because it's still clean. That area that I promised na kapag nabalik yan, huwag na kayong magduda. Ibig sabihin, nalagyan na ako. Ibig sabihin, tumanggap na ako. And that is a commitment. Personal commitment. The problem with these groups and underworld, they think of me less. Because I came from a poor family, you know, if you give me a bag of gold, normally, you will rejoice. Wow! Dami nito ko yun. Hindi nila lang. Sanay ako nang wala. Pa hindi ba yung pagpapasalamat ko sa Diyos? Ang sarap-sarap ng chicken ninyo, libre pa. O hindi ba dapat na yung nga raw ay tig? Ang kakainig ko maya-maya, lahat ng kinain nyo rito, habang ah, ako mamaya sa kusina, sa pintuan ng kusina nito, ng bilhin na ito, lalabangan ko dahil pwede ko pang tirahin yung tiniran ninyo. So what's there to ask? This is now the chance. Mano pa kayong mga sinasabing magagaling na kasapi ng JCI, mga nire-respetong kapataan, ng bansang ito. Mga sikat sa kami-kamiyang uh, fields of undertaking. Maaaring iba sa inyo mga batang negosyante. No? Sa mga kani-kaniyang industriya. No? Kaya, mga kasama, marami tayong bagay na pinagpapasalamat sa Diyos. Yan, kaya po kayo, kayo, sana, sana, sa someday, someday, Come and continue to hope. May panganganak ding susunod sa atin na magiging maguting leader ng ating syudad o ng ating bansa. Today, totoong mahirap itong nangyayari sa Maynila. Can I sustain? Going back to the question. Uh, I cannot promise you tomorrow. Nobody will. Or nobody can. In fact, o sinong tasa kamay dito ng buhay bukas? <laughs> See? Tama. And that's the right attitude. Nobody is guaranteed of tomorrow. But what we can do today is to excel. We can plan for next week, next month, 
a year, five years from now. But today, I'm going to excel from my field of undertaking. And diyan ko kayo inihikaya. Sapagkat ang Maynila po, ang pangalan ninyo, tingnan ninyo, you are representing Manila. Although some of you are not from Manila. But look at your organization. JCI, Manila. hindi Makati. Hindi Quezon City. <laughs> Manila. And that is the challenge. Why? Kailangan lalo kayong magigi. Bakit? Ang Maynila ay kapitolyo ng bansa. Ang Maynila is the window of opportunity. The window of the country. And there was a saying before, if I may, ang tama pa yung sinabi ko, isa sa bingo. Where Manila goes, the country follows. Hindi pa ako pinapanganak nun yung sinabi yun. Siguro naman, kaya din ang JCI. Where JCI Manila goes, the entire JCI in the country will follow. Kaya ba? Yes! Well, kaya? Eh, kaya po sa inyo, itong mga nakikita yung kuskus balungos sa siyudad. Ito'y pagsasaayos lamang ng, ng mga basic. What we're trying to do also is to go back to the A of alphabet. Elementary of governance. Before I'm going to construct uh, five years from now vertically or horizontally, I would like to put and lay down the foundation, policies, direction that in Manila, no more monkey business. <laughs> to achieve that is another thing. But with the help of each and every citizen, especially organization like JCI Manila, another organization, sensible people, I think walang dahilan na hindi tayo magtatagumpay sa layunin nating itaguyod ang syudad na ito na mukha ng bansa. Kaya bago ko bumabad, mahirap po ako makakawak ng mikropono, Madaldal po ako talaga. Eh, mas mamabuti po, sige, let, let me answer things in your mind. Ah, yung mga ah, maaaring katanungan, doubts. Ah. But at least, I hope, before I end, I hope na-appreciate ninyo yung ginagawa ng aming mga kawani sa pamalang lungsod ng Manila. I cannot promise you tomorrow. Yes. I will excel today. Yes. But this is your take from me. And remember this. And I swear, I swear to God, I would rather, if I may borrow this line, I would rather fail by trying than fail by doing nothing. Anything above zero is positive for me. That is my commitment to each and every one of you members of JCI Manila. Magandang gabi, pagpalain ko lang kayo. Manila, God first.
Thank you, Mayor. Yeah, we'd like to open the floor for some question and answer. May mga katanungan na yan dati ito, pero maganda po yung talong pati ni Mayor, kaya hindi natin ang tubig. Konting may inom muna. Daya mo ba't ako upo ka? Upo talaga tayo. Upo ka na. Hindi, ano tayo? Kaya niyo upuan. Ayaw ko dyan. Okay. Gusto ko dito kasama si Mayor. Okay. Mayor, is water anything? Okay na? <laughs> okay, bago tayo pumisa ay isang pong malakas pang palakpakan para sa pinakabatang ang halaki ng Maynila Mayor Isko Moreno Okay, Isko ng Maynila ang tanong at yung ibang mga katanong First question po First question Pwede ba magpa-selfie? Nailaw ka lang First question comes from President Joel Nunez Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, congratulate. Check, check. Mr. Mayor, congratulations and more power on your mayoralty. A lot of businesses got into a financial fix because of the high taxes imposed by your predecessor. Is there a plan for your administration to offer amnesty or to rationalize? The back, the back taxes of these businesses. Good question. Ah, ganda naman ang tanong ninyo. Kasi late na yung tanong nyo. Because last week, we just passed a new law and signed it with our commitment to tax plan during the campaign. Uh, we approved the city council through uh, Vice Mayor Hany Lacuna the members of the city council passed the tax, the general tax amnesty program. The logic behind the, the logic behind is simply because of the question. Marami sa syudad ang nangahirapan na magbayad ng kanilang obligasyon. Dala nang humina ang negosyo o medyo nagkipit o nahihirapan talaga at all dahil ang buwis po ng Maynila hanggang langit malapit na sa Mars Opo it is, in, and it is unfair for any of you to pay taxes and you don't see any improvement I know for a fact at least 99% of the people here today will not go to hospital ng Maynila when they are sick you will not go to our uh, uh, health center when you needed uh, uh, that kind of uh, service of that facilities. So what do you need? Simple order, peace, harmony. Yun lang hinihingin nyo. Kaya yung taxes, pagka nagbabayad kayong mabigat, hirap na hirap. Kaya sabi ko, to show goodwill of this new administration, let's address that problem. Una namin ginawa, pass that law, so that all penalties and surcharges and interest will be waived up to December 31 of this year. This is the longest amnesty in the city of Manila. So it includes, that's why it's called general amnesty, even business tax. Yung mga hindi nakapagsara, dahil ang mahal magsara, yung mga dumalawang libro, pwede nyo nang linisin ang libro nyo because wala nang picture na ipipix sa Manila kasi may general amnesty na. And this is the time for everyone by 2020, we start from zero. Clean slate. Wala nang dapat kayong ikaba. Sapagkat yung pagkakamalik, pagkukulang ng ilan, dyan naman nagiging enterprising ang mga kawani ng tamalan. The one who picks your book is the one who's going to... Ayan naman chuchuchuk sa'yo. May problema yung kumpanya na yan. 
Sila rin. Kaya para mawala yon, wala ng reason. Why? So I'm giving you that opportunity. Second, sa awa ng Diyos, apakabilis po ni Vice Mayor Rani Lapuna. Base rin sa aming tax plan. No? Naaprobahan na ang bagong real property tax. Ang commitment ko when, we, when I'm campaigning is 40%. At sabi ko, first year, 20%. Second year, 10%. Third year, 10%. That's total of 40. So, by next week, after I arrive from uh, travel, pipirmahan ko na po ang bago real property tax. Lowering it by 20%. Now, third, kung meron man kayong sobrang pera dyan, mamili na kayo ng lupa sa eskolta. I want you, and I challenge each and every one of you, including your fathers and mothers, or your corporation, buy a property there, build minimum of 20 story, and I'll give you 15 years of holiday. I want you to change the skyline of famous Escolta. Pag pinili nyo ngayon, ipagtalo nyo sa mga lolo ninyo, ang Escolta ng araw, premiado kali. But everything there is stagnate. It's hibernating. Grimy. Tingnan natin kung totoo ba kami. At the minimum of 20 story, you will get tax holiday. Isa lang ang arbor ko sa inyo. Ay siguro hindi naman mabigat. When you start constructing and finish constructing, Please, pakisuyo ko lang. Ito lang ang wala mong hilingin. You can get that holiday. Ang tawag ko dyan, delayed gratification principle. O, bakit? O, sige, bago ko kunin yung hilingin ko sa inyo. Anong logic behind it? Because people might think, ah, you're just specializing in Skolta. No, I want to really change the skyline of Skolta because ang pinakamahal na property sa buong mundo ay ang mga property na sa tabi ng tubig. You go around the world, most expensive uh, properties adjacent to the water. But the logic behind your delayed identification is, let's just say, for purposes of mathematics, and most of you here are businessmen, there is 1,000 square meter. City of Manila is getting one peso a year for real property tax. Then I'm going to deprive the city of Manila, 15 years, of 15 peso. Tama? At inflation rate, my 15 peso minus uh, 60% at 4% based on BSP declaration. So my 15 peso, 15 years thereafter, will value at less 60%. Now, Eh, what is delayed gratification? O, di nagparaya ako ng 15 pesos na lugi ang Maynila. Tama, no? Lugi. Eh, kaya lang, on the 16th year, dahil ang tinayo mo, minimum of 20 story, eh, tinayo mo pa 30. Eh, let's just say 20. On the 16th year, magkano kikita yung ng Maynila? Kung pareho pa rin ng tax code 15 years ago. 20 pesos. And that's what you call investors win all without raising taxes, the new mayor, by that time, need not to raise new taxes because there is new source of taxes. Kumita pa ang Maynila. Nag-delay na lamang. But it generates what? Jobs and opportunity. Right? 
That's why ito naman ang hingin ko sa inyo. 70% ng empleyado ninyo dapat tagalugsod ng Maynila. Wala nang iba. Yun lang ang hingin ko sa inyo. So if you can do that, oh, mag-shopping spree na kayo. Simula Santa Cruz Church, huh? all the way to Tama ba yung pagbigas ko? Saburi? Ah, Saburi. Ah, sabi ng tatay ko. Tawag kasi ng tatay ko doon, Saburi. All the way. With that stretch. You go there. Pursue development. Change the skyline. You get east. Tapos, taas ang buwis. Ang hirap naman mag-permit sa Maynila. Tama na. Hira? No, no, no. There's more. You know, the President, Rodrigo Roa Duterte, made an announcement during the SONA, implementing ease of doing business. The President asked everybody, especially, particularly, uh, business permit. Dapat three days lang, nabigay na. O in Manila, try us. Try us. Try us in Manila. Please, new business, ha? Huh? New business. 11 steps at 8 window became 3 steps in 1 window. 5 to 10 days of filing and receiving business permit takes you only 1 day in the city of Manila. Try it. Katuwala. Because, uh, ba't ko patatagalin? Eh, magbabayad ka na nga ng buwis eh. Patatagalin ko pa. Mag-create ka na nga ng trabaho eh. Patatagalin ko pa. Oh, I'll go after you when you cheat the government. That's different. But if you're just a simple businessman, gumamit ko ka pa business, dapat, sok pa ka muna. Saka na rin isa. Ngayon, Oh, because of that, because it affects taxes, because of that, thank you very much to SM Group of Companies. After, within that day, within that day that we declared that our challenge to ourselves is to get the permit in one day, oh, how one enjoys. Oh, we got 1,000 square meter of space given by SM Manila for our BPLO. So, anong punto? It's going to be very challenging in the renewal of business permit in the city of Manila. Why? I only have 100 square meter of space and 54,000 business establishment will renew by December up to February. And that is only 90 days. At 54,000, you divide it at, at 8 hours a day, at 5 days a week, with 100 square meter, chances are the time in motion, eh. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> so, and we're grateful, although it serves to purpose, their purpose because of the foot traffic that we're going to generate, but our purpose because of the public service that taxpayer should feel the ease of doing business. So hopefully, some of you will see you parking in SM in an air-conditioned room with 1,000 square meter just to renew your business license or permit. So these are with regard to you know, the, the question. I business permit because I want to take that opportunity. Baka kasi bukas, may nag-iisip sa inyo na mag-file ng business permit at magtayo ng negosyo at least this is an opportunity for you to hear it. And it's a challenge, ha? Huh? It's, it's a challenge. So far, uh, marami salamat sa nakaka-appreciate. Kasi yung mga nakaka-appreciate, you know what they did? Meron nakakuha sa amin 45 minutes. Pinos niya. Oh, appreciate. Gusto kong mabigyan ng medal yun. <laughs> I appreciate my effort. So when you appreciate things, 
Memang ah kali ye Metama lang Memang ah kali ye Dinisay naman Para sa heavy load So Hindi yan para ipagdamot It's just that Okay Let me ask you Sino May idea ba kayo ng delivery ng truck Sa BGC? Wala kayo idea O sige ganito na lang Tomorrow, if you're going to be in BGC or even in Makati, Makati, ayan lang lang. Pasinin nyo lang. Mag Magmuni-muni lang kayo. Just stand up this, in the corner. Di ba they're constructing building non-stop? Have you seen any trucks during daytime? Parang wala. Eh, well, pwede hindi nyo kami payagan. Magdi-deliver lang kami ng ano eh. Ng uh, bakal. Magdi-deliver lang kami sa mento eh. Nagahanap buhay lang kami. Pero why? Bakit ko lang? Tapos, gani ba? Diba? Gumigimik ka sa gabi? Nagtutugs-tugs-tugs-tugs-tugs ka, di ba? O, after mo kuminom. O, nyo maangga ka sa labas. Lumabas ka. Ano ba mga barmen doon? Ano ba yung mga... 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 Ano The streets of BGC. The trucks, baka, cemento. So why, why do we follow them, and why cannot follow rules in Manila? Di ba the sauce for the gander is the sauce for the beast. So kaya lang meron kami patukulan. Alam niyo na patukulan namin. Naging abusado kami bilang gobyerno ng siyudad ng Maynila. Maraming naging matakaw sa amin. Kaya nagkakaroon ng animosities. This portion of the problem is we're trying to address. That's why the best way to do it, please help me. Kastiguhin ko lahat yan. At ako, on this spot, you can see it. Eh. You, 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 You check my ano. On the spot, pag may huli ko, fine. Wala nang chicha-chicha. Walang hausya-hausya. Diretso ka agad. You're quiet. That's it. Pansit. No more take two. Because this is not, this is not film. This is not entertainment. This is corporate. Effective nga yan, Mayor. Yung pag-Facebook live ninyo, pang-uhuli. Di ba yung muna-uhuli? Oo. Saka natatakot na ngayon yung mga tao kasi alam nila wala na ligtas. Eh, I'm just trying to include you at the very least to be transparent enough for you to know at the very least what's going on in the city of Manila. This is not about propagation. There are two sides of the coin when we do this. You have to understand Because I want you to be involved in governance. You see, you will see our faults. You will see our yung ano yung pagkukulang, and you will see action. Oh, eto tapo ang kita namin. Eto action namin. Because you deserve it. You deserve to know. So kaya do sa nagtano, abut mo lang sa akin yung pangalan. Maya maya, bawat mo lang sa akin ng mabala. Because you're talking of 1,000 enforcer and about more or less 3,000 to 4,000 policemen that I'm going to deal day in day out. Pero Jill, balikan natin, nakalimutan natin yung tema ng ating gabi, iscore ng Maynila. So doon po Mayor, sa sinabi mong sistema of doing business in Manila, currently, ano yung score ng ating syudad? How would you rate it from 1 to 10? Ang hirap naman nun, nagbubuhat ako ng bambu. Kayo na lang. Oh. If you're happy, post it in Facebook, thank you, mababasa ko rin yun. Kaya oh. tayo ako eh, I'm not in the habit of, uh, uh, basta, ganito. Eh, nagbubuti naman na sila. Yeah. Uh, our doctors are smiling nowadays because I ask them to smile. Ganun na kasi simple. Alam niyo bakit? Ano, may sinabi siya ni Mother Teresa. 
yung when you smile, you offer love, you show love and compassion. Eh, mano pa sa mahirap na may sakit. Because our medicines and facilities will never be enough. With 1.8 nighttime population and 3 million daytime population. But when you show this type of uh, generally accepted facial expression, worldwide accepted, you know, when you smile, you show love. Okay? Yes, the simple act of smiling just brings the, a happiness to the person who receives it already. As simple as that. And the quote is not to tell a great sign. The act of smiling is now too early to tell. Yes, I think there's so many more plans of coming. Baka mamaya, pampalagbungan lang kami. Baka mamaya, may mas ugol lang kami. Siguro, latter part, you grade us. And we'll be happy to receive your grades. Kung kami ba'y passing grades, good grades, or sumakong laute. Kasi ang resulta natin nasa dulo. And it's too early to tell. But these policies that I've mentioned, New laws, new ordinances uh, are now in place and it's being done. And hopefully, uh, it will give us a better place. I mean, the city of Manila will be somewhere else. Kasi, oi nga pala, ha? Mga taga Manila. 17 LGU ang Manila, ang Metro Manila. We are now number one. Number one sa ilalim. Out of 17, we are number 17. So, we are number one. Anong tawag yan? Descending. Ascending. From the bottom up. We are number one there. It's not my data. Sad to say, it's DILG data. Yan ang minanak kong gobyerno. But see, eh, ano pa rin yan? Water under the bridge yan. Let's move on. Pero gusto ko lang inform kayo para alam ko yung kinakarap natin para pa rin. Okay, and uh, Mayor, in line with that tow truck, actually, balik na rin natin. Imbis na tatanungin namin ano yung grado, kasi tama nga, self-serving, pwede naman din tanungin ano yung grado na minanak mo. Okay, how do you create what you receive? Because uh, the next topic has something to do with traffic. Politics, you know, yeah. I'm going to put grades on them. But there is what you call in Latin principle or in law, res ipsa liquitur. The thing speaks for itself. They were kicked out of the office. The entire family was kicked out of office. And I think that the thing speaks for itself. <laughs> There is a total rejection. So if I'm going to bring them, that's adding insult to the injury. And I would rather have them peace in their lives. I would like to apply live and let live principle. You go live back to your place, in someone. <laughs> then we'll try to govern in Manila. And huwag na tayo masyado nagpapagpag ng mga alpombra. Vacuum na lang natin. Yung alpombra, di ba? So, nakakaya naman, no? I have high respect with the old guy. Uh, I've served him. It's just that they don't want to stop. They need them to stop. And the people stop them. And that is good grade already. More than passing grade. Kaya, nahihiya naman ako. So, so, glorious in the... Defeat, but more humble and victory. Si Mayor Isko. Kaya, diretso na lang tayo sa katanungan. Kaya ito, may kinalaman sa traffic to, Mayor. Many residents and owners, homeowners in Manila have multiple cars, but no parking. Cause yung congestion of side streets and ultimately traffic. What can you do to address this dilemma? Oo, kasi actually, Mayor, yung mga streets na dadaanan sana ng mga sasakyan, ginagawa ng parking dun sa bawat um, gilid, kaya lumiliit tuloy yung daanan. So, paano ba ito masasolusyon na? Manila will be traffic tomorrow. And Manila will be traffic next week. Manila will be traffic next month. Next year. 
Manila, ang Manila lang tayo pwede usapan natin. Why am I saying those? Because in problem solving, you have to accept the problem first. It's going to be traffic. There will be 4,000 trucks will fly the city of Manila minimum on the west side alone of the city. West side alone. 4,000 trucks in and out of our ports. And there are two major roads. The entire Arpen and Ross Boulevard and Pinans. So that area will be challenging day in, day out. Now, will I stop commerce? No. Will I <clears throat> will I uh, watch them? No. That's why there's what you call one lane. If there's four lanes of uh, Ross Boulevard, I'll dedicate one lane for the trucks, and the three remaining is for everybody to enjoy it. So what are your plans, Isco? Well, JICA, USA, I think ADB, including ADB, came up with a study that the country is losing about 2.4 billion, that was in 2016, huh? 15 or 16, that study, a day because of traffic. And Sabiron, six months thereafter after that study, I think it's the same year, so now, you know, by 2030, the country will lose 30 billion pesos a day because of traffic. Now, what can we do? Can we be parochial in our mindset or in our mind? No. So what's the best thing that we can do is to manage traffic. And how to manage it? Our goal is if John Doe, every day of his life, from point A to point B, is doing two hours, if I can do it at one and a half, will you be happy? Of course. If I can do it in one hour, you'll be happy? Of course. There's still traffic. Okay lang. But at least make lesson. And that's what you call management. We will never, ever, kami ha, ayaw ko nang pangunan. Hindi ko kinalam na natin yung inaras na. Real talk lang tayo, real talk. <laughs> kasi, baka mamaya kasi, you expect too much, no? Real talk, we can never resolve traffic now with rules and regulations. The best way to do the resolve traffic is infrastructure. Infrastructure and vertical development takes time. And I'm happy na kinig sa amin si SM or si SMC San Miguel. Buksan nyo na yung available na Skyway o Paya Manila to Columbia to East the boundary from Makati to Quirino which mga dalawang linggo nyo na natitikman. Nakakatikim na kayo. Ha? So imagine mo na sa ilalim ka. Oh, now, so we will try to manage it and the only way to solve it is to duplicate roads. How to duplicate roads in a 500 year old, almost 500 year old city? Vertical, uh, horizontally, you cannot. That is what you call going to Pluto. <laughs> because you have to buy all the properties adjacent to the street, which is a unitary training. Totoban, Malolos, Malolos, Clark. Hindi matapos-tapos yung ROW na 265 eh. O magka 20 years na, naka 180 pa lang silang ROW. It's still pending before the court. That's why you can build that, that, that train. So going back to Manila, how can you widen the streets? Horizontally. That is going to Pluto. Ganon, kahirap. Now, how? Vertically. In this case, Skyway, maraming salamat. And if you're in traffic business, I would like to inform you, you'll be happier going to the north. Because the takeoff is within the boundary of Nabotas and Manila. 
from the fort, which is about 200 meters away, in the first gate, and about almost a kilometer away on the second gate, and about two kilometers, huh? two kilometers to ICTSI, and about three kilometers to ATI, if you're coming from the north. No? And hopefully, if, if given a chance, which I saw it already, there will be another takeoff from Arten, from the north, Arten, all the way to ICTSI direct without traversing the intersection of Saragossa and Del Pan. So these are the things that will solve traffic or ease traffic in that portion of the city. Now, let's go now in the middle part of the city. Mid part of the city has two belt or university belt. The northern northeast portion of the city and the southwest portion of the city. There will be a, a, about uh, let me check that. About 100,000 students will go to USD. About a few thousand to FEU, CEU, Sambeda, and so on and so forth. In the southwest, you have now PNU, uh, PWU, La Salle, Pinil, uh, and so on and so forth. So these people will come in, in and out of the city. And this will add up to the lesser space because science will dictate space occupied by mass, lesser space, science 101. So, and we cannot widen our streets. So, Top Avenue, for that matter, always think twice. Ross Boulevard on the second lane, don't go there. It's a track lane. Uh, but there is a service road, but except for the uh, in this area or max. Now, same thing with Espana because of this. Because of our geography or institutional location. Other than that, make you ano na? Make you make you magana. Third, what can we do with the Vegas Park? in their respective uh, areas. Well, level the in principle, except for the Mabuhay Lane. Non-negotiable. You give up, we tolerate it. Why? Eh, siyempre, alam mo, ang tao, gusto magkaroon ng kanyang sarili. Dahil gusto niya magkaroon ng kagaangan sa buhay, pero at the same time, at the expense of others. I think, discipline should be implemented. Like sharing of price you have to pay. Oh. Kaya nangyayari dyan, ang ginagawa namin, lately ah, magpapasin ninyo, inaakit namin sila sa bangketa. Lately, may mga streets kayo magpapansin. Nakaangat sa bangketa. Now, Wag na kayong magalala, there was an abuse happened about a few months ago and those years, towing in Manila. Remember July 1 and I said, wala nang towing sa Manila. Bawal ang towing sa Manila. The problem with that policy, ano yung laging... Uh, Mikabig. Ito naman na yung abuso. Ay, di ba parada na lang kahit saan? Tama? Hoy, sinabi ko lang na bawal ang towing. Pero may clamping. Uh, why? Why did we go to that uh, portion of penalizing may mga matitigas na ulo? Alam mo bakit? Ang hirap ng pakiramdam. Alam mo yung pakiramdam? Na yung kotse mo, iniipon-ipon mo. 
Pinabayaran mo buwan-buwan. Paglabas ang bahay mo, wala na. Kala mo nakaranap. Alam mo yung situation, have you been to that uh, situation? Yung kapag mo, kala mo nakaranap ang kotse mo yung pala nato. I think that's too much to bear for any person who's striving, trying to make a living. Kaya para maalis, at may abuso kasi. Tawo dito, tawo doon. Nadurog, nabasag. Sisiyan dito, sisiyan doon. So that's why, that's how. So, to cut the long story short. Okay, pagkalala. We will try to manage it. We, we will manage it. But actually, Mayor, alam mo, nalagaman ko nga eh, from Correcto, Elaya, ganyan, um, Divisoria, talagang lumuwag. And dahil doon, palang kapit-kapit na nag-east din yung road, yung mga jeep yeah. din na dito. We made the road. We made the road. We made about uh, 8 lanes. No, 12 lanes available to you. 2 kilometer of 12 lanes. And that's what you call Asuncion Recto and Abad Santos Recto. Sana hanggang December. And we made another uh, 3 kilometers of open space. That's Waluna Binondo. So Plaza San Lorenzo Ruiz. Teka, teka, isko. Bakit yung mga binabangit mo parang kalye? Ba't yung sinabi mo made available? Hindi. It was occupied. May kalye pala dun. Tama. <laughs> oh no, it's available. Malaking bagay. Malaking so, bagay talaga. Nadadaanan. Except, this is our governance. Ito na yung sinasabi natin na pagtawid natin sa alambre. Bilang pagmamahal naman sa mga maliliit natin kababayan. Backbone, non-negotiable. Fishbone, sige. Habang wala pa kami may bibigay na kapalit, sana maaari kayo makapagkalag po ito. Pero, base, base, sa pulisiya ng gobyerno, hindi sa pulisiya ng organizer. Doon sa mga nagtatayo ng mga hawkers doon. Yes. Kaya mayan na dapat ang pendo, etnep sa umaga, etnep sa hapon, aqua rings lang yan. <laughs> yan lang dapat ang binabayaran nila sa pamalan, dahil may resibo yan. Kaya, may awa ng Diyos. Blooming trick, awa ng Diyos, bukas pa rin. Cariedo, bukas pa rin. Raon, bukas pa rin. Quezon Boulevard, undisturbed. Plaza Miranda, the plaza itself, is open to public. Yung paligid, Villalobos, Hidalgo, maghanap buhay kayo dyan. Ilaya Recto, Tamora, Santo Cristo, Carmen Planas, El Cano. Okay, magkana po ay ngayon dyan. Pero doon 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 rin. O, Pedro Hill? Sino yung may tagapako mo rito? O yan, we should know better than anybody else. Pedro Hill? From Tap Avenue, the 7-Eleven portion? Nara! Nara! Then, umusok kami ng konti. Pumunta kami sa tapat ng Paco Market. Meron pa ba? Wala na. Kumaliwa ko ng konti. Pass. Meron pa ba? Wala na. See? Dahan-dahan. Mayroon, habang nandun tayo sa topic na yan, yung gumagalan, di ba? Palapit na kasi tayo ng December. And napansin ko, pag per months, may mga, ano yan, aakit sa jeepney, pabinsan, di ba? Are you talking about the vendors or the beggars? Uh, Siyempre yung the beggars, di ba? Yung nagilinis ng kotse, habang traffic, umakit sa mga jeepney, na humihingin. Pag hindi bibigyan, magagalit pa sila. Yung mga iba, bata pa. So, may plano ba kayo sa mga ganyan, Mayor? Lalo na palapit na yung Christmas. Magsusulputan na naman yung mga yan. You reviewed the news tonight. About... Oh, it's on... Oh, katatapos lang na news. I think lumabas sa news. We apprehended 200 children. Last month, in one month, we apprehended... Not apprehended, sorry. Sorry, I, 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 I stand corrected. Hinalap kami. No? For safekeeping. 365 kids. In the streets. Today, almost 200. The problem is, 
may tumakbong isa, kaya na naman sa news eh, may tumakbong isa kasi dinakma, nakatakbo, kung hindi masagasaan. Nakakawa, what can we do? Will we continue to allow them to sprawl and put them in danger? Or kalapin namin, ilagay namin sa boys town, paliguan namin, pakainin namin, and huwag po likunin ng magulang. Oh. Kaya kami, meron kami pinag-aaralan ngayon. How am I going to penalize the parents of these children? True, there is what you call the new law that protects the interests of the kids or minors. Uh, ngayon, eh, ano, gano'n na lang? O, di magulang. O, ikaw ngayon nagpe-penalize na. Kasi alam niyo ba bakit? Total GCI Manila, may ligay tumulong? Yes. Tama ba? Tama. Yes. Yes. yes! May ligay tumulong? Ano may tutulong Para malaman ninyo, Manila? para malaman ninyo yung totoo yung sinasabi namin, tulungan ninyo yung boys town namin. Yung girls town namin. And rocks. Tingnan ninyo kung gano'ng karaming bata doon. And still, and still, don't get me wrong, ha? Hindi pa rin tapos. May nakikita pa rin yun sa Tap Avenue, sa Arpapa, doon sa Chinese Cemetery, dito sa kanto ng Blooming Creek. Pero pa rin, may pahitan nila. Kanina, inahuli sa tapat ng planetaryong. Meron pa isa, lagos nila. Nagtatakbuhan eh. Tapos ito nagsusolve. Kaya, continuous effort naman. So, Now, going back to Vegas, well, siguro hindi naman masama linisin yung sapatos mo, natuwa ka, hindi ka naman pinili, o hindi naman nagalit, hindi ka naman siguro masusugatan, magbota ng piso. Hindi naman yata kabiga pag sa iyo. Just for the spirit of Christmas. Pero, iba yung kwento mo na eh, kapag nagagalit pa, eh malamang, ano yun? Minsan kasi, baby. I know, I know. Kala nyo ba, putas lang ang pinipitas? Pati tinga ng babae, pinipitas yung mga nila. Pero ngayon, if you plan to penalize the parents of itong mga bata lang sa akin, itamin mo na yung mga magulang na inuutusan yung mga anak bumay ng sigil yung mga anak sa mga sasakal store. Dahil siya nag-umpis na yung mga kabataan ng umpis sa bisyo. At doon naman sa trap, Going back, we will try to manage. We will try. I won't promise you that much, but we will try to manage. We will try to open up more roads, more open space, green space. We will bring back kaya, katulad na pinanggit ko sa inyo kanina. Nagbukas kami ng kali eh. Ganon ang gagawin natin. Magkaroon ng, kumbaga sa artery, marami pang mga pwedeng daanan. To make it available to the general public. Asa, thank you. Pero man sa mga parado ng years ang gilid ng bahay eh, sana mapanawa yung style sila. That's a internal joke. May side mirror nila, baka mawala. Kaya hindi lang sila. We have more questions for the mayor, pero nag-message po yung chairman ng event na may itatanong ang isang former, former director, past director po ng JCI Manila that has something to do with the membership or in regards to the membership. So, We'd like to call on past director uh, Jerry Hung to ask this question to our beloved mayor. nagkakaproblema sa traffic na yun kasi bumbay. Si Mohit, so nakamotor na lang yun. Pero kung nga rin talong mo, Mohit na. Ito mo rin kay Jerry. Ginesis mo sa akin. Ito ka lang, boss. Hello. Hey, Orbe, you mean? Question. So do you agree with the no park, no garage, no car policy? I mean, kasi diba yun yung pinaka, isa sa pinaka-post ng traffic sa Manila. 
that 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 uh, that did not answer the problem. It will never. Because see, one way or another, the economy will be affected. Jobs. I don't know. I, I, I may be wrong. I'm not a specialist in this type of uh, national uh, <laughs> policy, but it doesn't make sense. You know, it's it is. It may sound good, sa tenga, but ito na wala talo ko. Eh kaya mo lang na sa senator eh, ang laki ng bahay mo eh, you can afford it. Paano naman ako? Gusto ko lang magkamit ng kagaangan sa buhay at karapatan ko naman lubago at nag-ipon. Makamit ko naman yung aking mga pangarap. You know, that's why I always wonder why Thomas Jefferson in the U.S. Constitution put a simple phrase or simple word in the U.S. Constitution. You know what? What's that? For hindi ko talaga maintindihan bakit ilagay yun eh. But it was there. For suit of happiness is guaranteed to them. And who I am to deprive, for example, let's just say that, ah, magbibigay naman ako ng sample, ito naman kasi marami ito sa demographics. Empleyado ako, uh, uh, ang sweldo ko, 18 mil, call center ako, magpalagay mo na magaling ako mag English, pero hindi naman. Let's just say, I'm earning 18,000 pesos, I'm single, living in my parents. My, what my dream is to have a car. But I have an old, old house in an apartment. I don't know, huh? it may be wrong in terms of mindset and direction you know, in savings. But this is my dream, this is my happiness. Gusto ko naman huwag ako pumila ng dalawang oras sa LRT. Gusto ko naman magkaroon ng sariling aking na aking pinagpagal. Aking pinaghirap, matikman ko naman. Will I deprive that person of that opportunity? Uh, baka mag-isip ako ng dalawang beses. So, instead, no? Instead, na yon ang gamitin. O meron akong isa, mas harsh. I would rather follow like when you, like when you did. Mas mahal bumili ng plaka kaysa bumili ng kotse. Kaya, pero bago nila ginawa yun, ha? bago nila ginawa yun, bago sila humantong na halos lahat ng Singaporean ayaw nang bumili ng kotse, the Singapore government created mass transit. So, Kaya, sinasabi ko, maaaring tama naman yung logic. At then I respect each and everyone's point of view. Tama yan! Huwag kang pipili ng kotse pag wala kang karahe. It seems okay. Pero teka, saan pa talaga ang problema? If the government, for that matter, offer another means of transportation, ha? interconnected, nag-uusap itong mga pagawa yung bayan na to o transportasyon <coughs> ay isa ka tayo mag-isip ng mga bagay na huwag na yan ito ang alternative but for the meantime there's no alternative eh. how can I pass by uh, if I'm going uh, if my house ito ha if my house is in Tondo I'm going to Emerald because I work in Emerald restaurant is there a PUB bus line or train from Tundo to there? Nothing. Nada. I have to go to Recto, Baba ako ng Abilida, Sakay ako papuntang Lodon, at bababa ako sa Kalaw. At sasakay pa ako papuntang Mabini. 
So, so my point with the question is, is it right for that law to be passed? My answer is not yet. I think we should address it confrontally, uh, confront it frontally. I mean, literal. Create mass transit. After creating mass transit, available walk space. Like what we're doing right now, opening Bagueta experience roads and pedestrian. Then, after all these things being given to the people, then we regulate and make it hard for every John Doe's and Mary to own a car. Because, hindi ka na kailangan pumili ng kotse. So, makay ka na lang ng MRT, LRT, tramvia, monorail, or subway. Wow. Yan yung point. That would be the dream. Kaya, kung ako lang, kalibawa, nandun ako, hindi ako boboto. Kasi, hindi pa yun yung solusyon. Meron pa dapat ibang solusyon. Tama naman sabi ni Mayor, no? uh, you cannot solve traffic, just manage traffic. Yes, first. manage the traffic. You your Thank you. 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 Last na lang, Mayor, in the topic of the traffic, uh, since na bring up na yung opening of the roads, yan, and pag clear, sobrang appreciate ko yun, living in Manila area. Uh, do you have plans already in place since knowing Manila, there's a lot of parts there na flooded areas? Okay, flooding. Good um, question. Yes, I mean, sa Espanya Blumenthal, oh, ano yung beach front property here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay yan, okay yan. Mga concern nyo yan eh. But sometimes, we have to at least uh, share information to you so that you will know what to expect. Manila is living below sea level. That's one information. I think it's about 3 inches below sea level. Two, Manila is surrounded by creeks, yes. rivers, and the bayside. Manila is Kapatagan. Ha? Anong connection nun sa baha? Quezon City, Montalban, and Rizal are uphill. So, pagka umulan, lahat yan sasapuhin pababa sa kapatagan. Kapag ang puno sa east side of metro is kalbo yung ragasa no? so that you will understand what's happening to Lagos Nilan para magka idea kayo what's happening in Lagos Nilan yung ragasa yung bilis ng daluyong ng tubig all the way to Manila and our camp cannot carry enough water to be pumped out of Lagos Nilan that's one Kahit na tak, kasi laki pa nito, yung aming uh, tawag dyan, drainage system, if our drainage system is not interconnected o magkakagalit, parang smart, tsaka globe lang yan. <laughs> May kanya-kanyang linya. Eh, paano ko nasabi yung isko? Isko, paano mo nasabi? Oh, kasi ito yung hiningin ko sa ano eh. USA. Paano mo nasabi? At tingnan nyo kung logical ha. We've been developing our drilling system. DPW is developing our drilling system. We created a pump just across the streets of this building. Did you know that there is a pump via Kalaw all the way to this building? Yan lang. Natapat ninyo. Pumping station. But, pero sa Tagulan, baha ulit sa kanto ng Kalaw at Tak Avenue. Ay, nung nakaraan, bahay. Alam niyo yung napansin ko? Oo, oh, logical, ha? <laughs> Bakit ba ang kalye kung ang Maynila is surrounded by creeks, rivers, pero yung river namin, yung creek namin, half full. And rivers are national 
catch basin and creeks. Pero yung kanya namin, baha. Yung river, kalahati yung laman. But I don't know. I'm not an engineer. But logic will dictate among right minds there must be something wrong. That's why flooding, so that you know, kung meron mang taga Maynila dito, when I was asked by the U.S. government, ano ang pwede namin itulong sa iyo? Sabi ko, pwede ba once and for all makisuyo sa inyo? Pwede ba bigyan ninyo ko ng masusing pag-aaral? Gasto sa ninyo. Gasto sa ninyo ng masusing pag-aaral ang sewerage system and drainage system ng Manila. It, it, it will take one year or two years to spend your money. Thank you very much. And from that study, from that study, at sinabi doon, to solve it will take about 15 years, 20 years. At least, on my first year, I know where to spend 700 million pesos with regard to infrastructure projects. Sa rooms namin. It's about 700 million pesos. At least, alam ko, oh, ito na direksyon. Ito unahin mo. Sumunod ito, unahin mo. Sumunod ito. Oh, before you know it, natapos din yung 15 years. Because what's happening now, oh, alimbawa, just for the sake of conversation, oh, baha dito. Ba? Oh, buo kayo yun. Bago na naman ang kanya eh. Siyempre, itibagin mo, talagay mo ng bagong pipe. O, tapos, cemento na naman. But, you didn't connect them to, you know, you just make it bigger. Kaya nga sa tulis nyo, kahit gaano kalaki yan, hindi kinakaya. Hindi kakayanin. I like what Malaysia did. I've never been there. But they have also monsoon problem. There is a tunnel in Malaysia. I think it's Kuala Lumpur. Bumagyo! Bumagyo! Sarado yung tunnel. All the city water, rain water, will go down to the tunnel. After the rain, they pump it out. Then the tunnel is for the village. Amazing. Pero yun, hindi yun nangyari overnight. Inaral nila yun. Nirepipe nila. Yung kanilang mga training system. Ito ka what? But at least they resolve it. O walang baha sa Kuala Lumpur. Pero dati, baha sa Kuala Lumpur. Same thing with Thailand. You google it. About 20 years ago, Thailand is chaotic in the streets. I've never been there. But look at Thailand. Ah, katakot-takot na skyway. Ang vertical development din sila. Nakikita naman sa picture eh. Sabi ko nga sa iyo, ang Biblia ko si Google. Ang, ang library ko si Google eh. Yeah. So, ibig sabihin, ewan ko ah, I may be wrong. The best way to solve the problem, one, you accept it, then you sit down. You sit down, read data, magmuni-muni, halt, and convince others to go to one direction. But with the basis. Kasi pwede naman window lang, eh, o invasion lang. But it has to be basis. I always believe in data. Without it, it's shut down. It will not go anywhere. So it has to be surgical. Yes, I agree. One day at a time, but at least... At least uh, narrow end goal in mind. Okay, alam mo, uh, Jill, wala yung pagpupasok na katanungan. So, in question. question. Yeah. 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 Katanungan dito, I, I'll just read it, no? Kasi yes, go ahead. Si, si, mayor, si mayor is also busy. Maraming lakad. I-run down ko lang. At baka pwede natin ipakabot din kayo mayor at masagot niyo na natin time. Uh, yung isa is from JCI Senator uh, E.C. Kilan, Marginal. My question to the mayor. Marginal tonto vendors are being cleared and their carts removed. How does the city government help them? 
the relocation, where is the relocation site? Is it not a uh, deliberate aggression against the poorest of the poor? And to, to do feeding in the poor barangays of Tondo, how can we tie up with the city government? Oh, do they suggest you to do, no? Okay. Tapos, so you said, I'm going to go to the house. No, I'm going to go to the house. No, I'm going to go to the They need more attention than uh, any place in this uh, city. So, so send, uh, JC, I said, uh, Gina, baka pwede tayo mag-project sa Boys Town? May tanong yan kasi. Please, go ahead. Sino yung may katanong? Go ahead. Your question. Ito, ito yung Bombay Mayor na gusto magtanong. Ah. Si Mohit Darkani. Apoy. <laughs> what is the short-term solution of the city to solve the water crisis? And how is our Pozo Negro being treated? Maybe I can help. Congrats, Phil. I love you. The director, I love you, boss. Well, as far as the city is concerned, we don't have a crisis with water. But the kung healthy water, that's another story. Because uh, water is not within the control of the city government. I have to be fair. Uh, but so far, pamisa uh, pisa pag binili repair or redirection of ng tubo, may napek ko ang it's a normal thing. No? Uh, clean water, I think, it may be an issue, especially in the west side of the city. And those living within our creeks, major may challenge you. Uh, what else? I see Why not? Why not? Thank you. Why not? 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 Why not
Madali salita, pautangin niya daw ako. Are you preparing for federalism? Are you planning on moving to a higher position next election? At uh, marami pa kayo pa mapasok. At pwede kayo patala yung mga katalungan nyo sa uh, APJ natin. Hindi po is gone. Except, there's nothing here except for the port area, which is very far from uh, the community. We were the one who resolved it. It took a while, it took us seven years took us some challenges and some losing some political capital when we did that. And now it's gone. It's it's settled. It's open there. And in fact it's NPA of Shell, Petron and Caltex. But I think Petron is going to do something about the portion of what they own to build something in the 12 hectare property of Petron. Ano isa? Yung sa pinapata ng JCI, Makati, or Dua, Princess or Dua, if you're open daw, or kung mangyayari yung federalism, is the city of Manila open to federalism? Okay. Come on. Alright, anong uri pa ng gobyerno niya? Kung pare-pareho pa rin kami na alam, wala rin mga magbabago dyan. If you keep electing the same people. Forms of government is just forms. There is what you call communism, federalism, parliamentary, monarchy. What else? Socialism. Socialism. These are just names. But these are all government. This is just system. It may be different. But if we keep on electing the same person, putting the same people, what's that to change? What do you expect? If I may borrow the line of uh, <laughs> Einstein, don't expect different results will come to you tomorrow if what you did today is the same as yesterday. You will have the same result. So, my point, yeah, maganda. Uh, okay ako, sige, federalist po tayo. Anong form? Are we going to appoint? Are we going to elect? Are we going to be represented equally in the respective jurisdiction? What are we going to answer? Cultural or customary? Or what are we after? Pe economic? Because it might sound like federalism, but it only address customary problems. Cultural problems or maybe economic now this is oh, sige 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 uh, total na kwentuhan lang naman eh let's just say Manila, Metro Manila is one state magpalagay natin o di ba sa federal form ewan ko ha hindi ko kasi alam kung ano federal form na gusto nung ilan. Metro Manila lo. Let's just follow US federalism. Pwede mas pa yan, lalong yayaman ng Metro Manila. Hindi naman nanalo ang 4B, 4A, Region 3, if that going to be federal government. Bakit? Eh, nandito lahat ang economic driver eh. Kayo nga, lahat nandito eh. <laughs> Tama? So we will continue to prosper as a state, as a federal state. And our neighboring state will continue. So I don't know, I'm not a, uh, an specialist on, on this. It's just that I just I just want to learn, I just want to know what's it, what is it, what, what is it for me? as a citizen. 
Now, sa akin lang, sa akin lang ah, gusto ko yan, magbabago. Okay yan. But I think everybody here should know ano nga naman ba ang take natin. So ako always ako sa pagbabago, always ako sa innovation. Ano ako dyan lagi, uh, passive ako lang. Katulad yung tanong kanina, are you into it about no car garage? But yes, okay naman yan. Kaya na ba kami ba pang batas na pwedeng mag-address nun? It's, it's okay. Okay to discuss, okay to innovate. But I don't know if you will agree with me. The most expensive commodity in this world I don't know if George, most of you here are businessmen, but this is my point of view. The most expensive commodity, if you will call it commodity, in this world is time. If you lose time, you lose opportunity. So if you believe that time is very important, then baka pwede pa tayo makaisip ng ibang solusyon sa problema natin. In fact, uh, ano yung isang problema natin? Dynasty? Tama ba? Di ba may hati dynasty law? Tama ba? Na-resolve na ba? <laughs> My point is Siguro mas magandang productive tayong lahat. Sige, lahat tayo pro tayo sa federalism. But we have to be knowledgeable. What is my take as a citizen? Kasi alam mo, pag pinapakinggan ko si President Duterte, talagang ano eh, gusto niya eh. Meron siyang konsepto eh. The problem is, yung hindi na ipaliliwanag ng mga tao. Eh, siyempre, Presidente na si Pangulo. He would uh, order you, or let's go on uh, federalism. Okay na tayo dyan. So, dapat yung mga inutusan or gumagawa, dapat ipinaliliwanag. Eh, naawa ko kay Presidente. Bakit ako hindi niya awa? He's been talking about it for three years and nothing's moving in Congress. And he's only what? Left with two years and 11 months? Tama ba? Oo, oh, naman. So, doon ba parang siyempre, kung ako si President Duterte, nakaka-postrate. Nakaka-postrate, di ba? But be that as it may, for the meantime, do we still have time to discuss it? Do we still have time to approve it? Do we still have time to subject it for plebiscit or uh, ayun pa isa good do we have money to implement it so sa akin uh, anyway it's not my issue Manila boy lang ako <laughs> uh, ano yung pangatang question will I run? will you run for a higher position? no Oh, ah, dito ako sa usapan. Eh, oh, sinabi ni Mayor, alam mo bakit? Alam mo bakit? I owe it to you. Ah. Sa akin, boss, ay yung Manila si. Ano 'to? Eh, taga Manila 'te. Opo, boss. I owe it to you. Why? I owe it to every Manilans to give you the opportunity. Sino bang magkakala? Kaya nyo palang pumoto ng basurero lang. So when I was given that opportunity, now, I'm going to put my very best. At the very least. No? My best. <laughs> to address our problem. One day at a time, one problem at a time. This is going to be an American football challenge. Yard by yard, we're gonna address the problem of the city of Manila until we reach 
that particular line on the other side of the court so we can make a goal. Kaya yan ang mangyayari sa Bailey. And it will take time. Believe, sabi nga sa Ali, believe me, I believe you me. Sabi sa Ali, maniwala ako kayo, mahabang laban ito. And I cannot do it alone. Kaya buong kababahang loob, ako'y nakikisuyo sa inyo, tulungan niyo po kami. Participate, cooperate in your own way, in your houses, in your offices, in your own little way. Kailangan po ang bawat isa. Because, yes, we will not stop. We will continue. We will pursue. But, you know, if everybody's there, it will be better. Because, my dream, my aspiration for the city of Manila and its people I would like to create an orchestra composed of different musical instruments playing one song, one music in harmony being conducted by one person to create a beautiful song that we can offer for the next generation. Kaya, bago po isipin yan, nag-uumpisa pa lang ako, huwag nyo naman ako idulang, baka madapa ako. Nadapa na nga ako dati. Huwag nyo na muli din. That's why I need your help. I am your Mayor, begging you, please help us. We need your help. We need everybody's cooperation. I hope you don't mind me begging you. Pero, Frank, Frank Damian, it's important. Alam mo na, sinabi ko na, Please narinig na, kailangan namin ang tumulong. Man pa, kayo yung mga, may kakayanan tumulong. Hindi naman kayo masusugatan ng kunti. Kaya kayo yung tumulong. Hindi, hindi lang, patak-patak. Nakatakbo din yan. Nagkatalo nga sa inyo man, di ba? Nagkapatak lang eh. Ano ba naman yung kasi na kayo lang? Di ba? The same thing. So, kaya, no, please, please. Tama na yan. Saka pagod pa ako sa kampanya. Nakakatapos sa election, election na naman. I'm not running for higher position. I will stay in Manila. Meron na siya, Mayor. Hindi ko magpautang. Saka uutang pa ako kayo. Okay, okay. Okay, that note, I guess you know the mayor is very busy. But see, last question. Oh, last note. See, see, see. Okay, okay. Last question. Last question. Okay. Million by yan. Irap na. Follow up. Hello, hello. So, tano ko lang po, mayor. How can JCI Manila? Collaborate with the city of Manila to better, to better our 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 city in any way, shape, or form. I directed the DepEd, the Division of City School, to harness renewable energy to inculcate the minds of our students in public education system the value of renewable energy. So we are now into that direction. Next year, these things are planned. These things are being prepared. So even rain, rainwater being 
reuse. So you might, you might be interested in this uh, endeavor of the city. And you have voice down there. And we are going, we are we are going to make and go towards the direction as per Vienna for the city of Manila to be ecologically balanced. Balanced. That's the word, huh? For the city of Manila to be healthy. Tama ba? Yun yung word. Yun yung mga ginamit ng Vienna. We need to create or make or plant 1,600 hectares of green space. Manila Sula. Sa mga 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 But during the discussion, and I said, and I asked, is that horizontal alone? Sabi sa akin ng director, what do you mean, sir? How can I build vertical green space? Oh, that will will include that. Oh, then it's done. We're going to create vertical green space in the city of Manila to achieve our goal as ecologically viable, ecologically healthy city of Manila. So I did that. You can uh, participate in that uh, endeavor. JCI can participate. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Please send another question around to uh, the POD and we will find a way to get it to the Honorable Mayor. Uh, guys, guys, I'm not going to take a picture of Edneb Edneb. Joke, joke. For the record, for the record. It's really a good thing, you know? It's a good thing. Anyway, um, the, the POD together with the, um, the with Chairman Jason Oliva. Oh, before before we show uh, SMDP project, we'd like to call on the uh, President LA Sevilla to award a special uh, token to our honorable mayor. Joe, Together with the BOD of 2019.
We'd like to also request uh, past presidents of JCI Manila to come up on stage and uh, have their chance to take a picture with with us, Undersecretary Toots, or present future president of Philippines. Pero, sabi ni Mayor, wag muna. Past presidents of JCI Manila, please. Together with uh, Papa Cez. And this team. Thank you. Thank you, Lonnie. Thank you. Chief. Press team. Press team. Uh, SG. Chief. SG Okay, are you bored? Please prepare for your uh, photo up with the mayor. Dito na kayo kasi medyo busy po si Orbe. Kaya are you bored? Please uh, stay already here and decide for your opportunity to have a picture with the mayor. Are you bored? Please. Are you bored? Plus metro area presidents. Are you bored? Plus metro area presidents. Please come up on stage to have your chance to uh, take a picture with the mayor of Manila, Mayor Escobar. After this, After this uh, committee, uh, 11th GMM, score naman nila committee, please prepare for your photo op with Mayor Isco Moreno. Okay, committee, please prepare. Thank you very much, uh, Metro Area and uh, Area Director. Committee, please uh, come on stage for your photo opportunity. 11th GMM Committee, please uh, come up on stage for your photo opportunity with uh, Mayor Isco Moreno. I'm still a picture with Jim. Committee to please come on stage for your photo op. Committee, here's your chance to have a photo with uh, Jill. And here's the photo of Thailand. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, general membership. GCI Manila, general members, please come on stage for your photo with Mayor Isco Moreno. General membership of GCI Manila. JCI Manila members. One last picture with everyone. JCI members, please at the back. JCI senators, please in front. JCI Manila members, please. Come up already for your chance to have a 
photo with the mayor who is very busy and has a city to run. So,